Hey everyone, this is Scott Volker, and in today's video, I'm going to answer a question that came in. Plus, I'm going to show you a couple of cool little tricks you can do here that's going to make your workflow faster and it's going to save you time in the long run. The other thing is I'm going to be able to show you some of our new backgrounds, which I'm real excited about. These are a grunge collection that we're releasing, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to create these awesome pictures just like the one you're looking at right here. So let's get started. And this can work with any backgrounds that you already own or the ones that you purchase in the future. Now this is just our original cutout images. I have that one and I have that one that I'm going to be working with. Okay, so let me just get that out of my way for a minute. And then we're going to go ahead and start loading in backgrounds. Now this is just a new basically a new document okay and this is I'm gonna save this as a PSD and it's gonna have multiple layers and the layers are gonna be the backgrounds and then all I need to do is drag the subject into this and then I'll be able to turn on the background that I want to use and then just save it out that's really as simple as it is so let me get started I've picked a few that I'm gonna use here and out of this one here I'm just gonna drag it into the new canvas we're gonna center it in the position okay just like that it just says layer one now we can title that and you can name it whatever you want I'm just gonna say back one okay for short for backdrop okay just to save myself some time okay and then we're gonna go ahead and get rid of that now we're just gonna minus that down get that out of my way and then we're gonna pull up another one right here load that one in Again, we're going to bring it in center. We're going to title it. Just double click. We're going to title that one back to. Get that out of my way. We're going to load up the next one. So all I'm doing is dragging from a layer to my document from the one that I want to drag in. Okay, it's really that simple. A lot of people don't know how to get two images into one image, and this works the same way. You basically just open up two images at once. You got, you know, like right now we have this open, and then I'm basically just opening, I'm basically just opening another document, okay? And then I'm just dragging it into my workspace, okay? That's really all I'm doing. I think I already dragged this one in, didn't I? <laughs> all right, let me get rid of that one, okay? Let's get this out of the way. And let's see, this one here, I don't think I did. Yeah, that one I didn't. Okay, I like working on this one, so I'm just gonna drag it into position. And we have four so far loaded in there. Mm -hmm. And again, once we're done with this, as soon as I get this centered, once I'm done with this, I can save it out and I'll never have to do this work again. That's the beauty of this. Do the work once, save it, and you won't have to do it again. It's really that simple. Uh, the other one was this one here. This is the one that you were looking at when I first pulled up the image of my daughter, Alexis. Uh, she was in the first picture. I'm going to work with that one. So there we go. We've got five backgrounds loaded right over here. If we look over here, you can see we've got one, two, three, four, Five, five backgrounds that we can work with and just by turning on and off we can go ahead and do that now now we got to go over to our subject right that we, what we want to work on which is right here again okay this is this this is the subject that we're going to be using right now and I'm just going to take her and I'm going to drag her right into the uh, workspace I'm going to center her wherever I want it okay maybe right about there looks pretty cool and the other thing that I like to do is vignettes. So sometimes if you want, you can just create a vignette, put it in here, and leave it and save it. And then you have all of these at your disposal. So if I turn this off now, I've got that. If I turn this one off, I've got that. If I turn this one off, I've got that. And if I turn that off, I have that. So, I mean, I can create five portraits in like less than five minutes by doing it this way once it's loaded up. I hope you can see the power of that. I mean, that's incredible to be able to do that, okay? So let's create a vignette real quick. I'm gonna go to Layer, New, okay? If you've never seen this done before, I've done this in other videos in our club, 
and uh, it's pretty simple. I'm going to show you right now how to do that. So you just created a new layer over here. We'll title it Vignette. Say OK. Go over here. Make sure this is black. OK. And then we're going to want to go over to our paint bucket tool. OK. But actually what we're going to do is you're, if, it's, if it's on your paint bucket is hold it down and then you'll see the gradient tool. That's what we want. Okay, and then what we want, very important over here, is we want this to be on multiply. Okay, and then from there, we're going to just take our cursor anywhere in the center here, and we're just going to drag it out like that. And let the computer catch up, and now we have a big net. But you might be saying, well, we just darkened her, and you're right. So then what we can do is just go to the eraser tool, make sure it's pretty large larger than that even and make sure it's got a soft edge all the way down and make sure that your opacity is well, right around 70 percent somewhere in there and then you just start erasing your subject in here and most of the time your subject is going to be placed in the similar spot so what I usually do is do little little swirls around make sure that I get it all out but just make sure that the subject is definitely uh, going to be um, visible okay so now if I turn that on and off you can see we have a big net so then I can just leave that and then the next time I have an image come in I can use that big net if I want or I can just turn it off really is up to you and the last thing that I wanted to talk about was this let's uh, go ahead and pull up an edge okay and you can load these in too if you have some favorite edges that you like to use load these up too Okay, so I'm going to load this in. It's titled Edge 3 already, so I'm all set. It's cutting into her hair. Maybe I don't want that, so I just click on her, move her down, and now I have a real nice grungy picture, but it gets even better. Okay, now I can save this out just like it is and print that, and it'd be beautiful. Okay, now, again, if I wanted to, I could save all this. You can have this already done, and this is going to save you so much time. But the last thing I wanted to show you is on like an edge like this, watch how cool this is. I'm going to go to Layer, Style. Oops, I'm not on the edge, that's why. See, I was down here. I wasn't on the edge. So I want to be on the edge. Go to Layer, uh, let's see, Color Overlay. And I know you've seen looks like this before, not the red. Let me get that out of the way. It defaults to red. It's white. So go right there, and look what we got. We got a really nice grungy picture. Now, if I wanted to make that a color that's in the picture, I just double click on the color overlay, click here, and let me get this color maybe, and look. Say OK, and look what we got. Okay, you may want that, you may not. Maybe you like the black, maybe you like the white. It's endless on what you can do with digital backgrounds. I hope you can see that here, and I also hope you see that there's a huge advantage of loading them up like this so we can save it out and then come back and just basically turn on and off backgrounds now that didn't look good without that but like this here this and this and this and this and this okay and it's as simple as this let me take her now and get rid of her everything else here is still saved in this document I just go to file save as and then I title it whatever I want. In this case, it's already titled Grunge Backgrounds PSD, and I would save it. And then I would just come back and always use that as my template. All these would still be loaded up. And you can do 20 of these if you want. You can do as many as your heart desires, okay? And the last thing I wanted to show you is, again, let's say you have a different subject. Maybe it's a boy now. Well, let's go over and turn on the boy. Let's turn her off, and we're just going to drag this into the document. And now, look, we have... Another subject that we can do in these backgrounds, and we can turn on and off what we want and what we don't want. Make sure that they're on top, obviously, up there. See? Okay, so it's endless on what you can do. So I just wanted to show you this, and I wanted to show you how easy it is to create your own template like this, so this way you can pull it back up and basically turn certain backgrounds on and off that you want to use from your sittings. So that's it. That's going to wrap it up. I'll talk to you later.